Hi, in this clip, I'm going to show you how to add members to your plan. It's a pretty straightforward operation. If you go over here to the upper right, you'll see it says members, and there's a little arrow to the right of it. When we click on that, I get this pop-up window, which prompts me to enter a name to add a member. So I'm going to simply pick some people from our network, part of our marketing team, and you'll notice that I don't have to put in their email address because they are part of our organization. It finds them automatically for me. And I can choose them just like that. Pretty straightforward. And you can see the little buttons up here indicating those members. Now, that's not the only way to add members to a plan. You'll see up here in the top these three little ellipses. When I hover over it, it gives me that pop-up. They're very small and hard to see, I know, but they are there next to where it says charts. If you click on that, we get this drop-down menu, and we're going to choose members. And what this is going to do is take us to Outlook and take us to that group page for our annual report. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go ahead and watch the clip on creating a plan. I talk more about this group page in there. This is our group. These are all the members of our plan. And you'll see that we can add more members. There's a big button here that says Add Members. So we can add it right here in Outlook. We can add people to our plan. So we're going to add another person like this. And click Save. And there are the members of our group. Now, let's take a look over here to the left. You'll see it says all, owners, and guests. When we click on owners, it shows that Don Torres is the owner of this plan. And that's because Don is the person who created the plan. We go to guests. Now, we have no guests, but we're going to add a guest. And a guest is somebody who's outside of our organization, somebody who's not part of our network. We're going to add somebody called Georgia Olison, and we're going to type in her email address. And you see, there it is. And notice once we do that, you're adding a guest to this group. They'll have limited access to group resources. We get that warning. And that's because they're not part of our organization. So there's going to be limited things that they can do. But we still want to share this plan with this person. So we're going to save that. See that person shows up. Georgia shows up here in our guests. But let's go to the all button. And you see she's still there as well. Now we want to designate one more person as an owner. Because we're signed in as Don Torres, and you can see that up here in the upper right corner, and Don is the owner of this plan, she can designate other owners. She's going to select Kathy Boyd, and if we right-click next to her name there, you'll see it says Make Owner. We see that Kathy has been promoted to admin, and when we go to the Owners tab, now we have two owners, Don Torres and Kathy Boyd. We'll go back to our plan homepage, refresh, and we can see not all of the buttons of everybody who is part of our plan, but if we click on the members drop down arrow, we see everybody here who is listed as a member of our plan. And now you know how to add members to a plan. Thanks for listening.